Hello and welcome to my very first Football Manager video. Uh, this is also my very first YouTube video. I've been really wanting to make an FM save for a good while now. I've watched uh, for the past year lots of people doing playthroughs and I've really enjoyed it and I wanted to give it a go myself. I have to thank Dr Benji FM uh, for helping me out with some of the software needed and Second Yellow Card as well for um, some tips for making a YouTube save. Um, I'll link to their profiles in the description below as well. Uh, if you haven't seen any of their videos, go watch it. Dr. Benji FM's but Palma Drama video is just something else and um, Second Yellow Card series. Well, there's quite a few up there, but um, I really enjoyed uh, From the Shadows with his FC Paris save and Sleeping Giants with Red Star Belgrade. Um, they're some of the best videos on YouTube with Football Manager, I think. Uh, anyway, my name is Red and Yellow FM, and one of Second Yellow Card's sort of advice was to start off with a team that I support, and it should be fairly obvious now that I support Partick Thistle, one of the one of the lesser known teams in Glasgow. Now, please don't laugh too much, and honestly, I can't take any more Billy Connolly jokes. Really, I've had it for like the last twenty years. I, I can't can't deal with it anymore. As you can see, um, it's not been the greatest of history. Uh, up and down quite a lot. There was a good 10 year spell where we never stayed in the same division for more than a season or two. And um, thankfully we've um, got back into the, the Premiership now. And yeah, it should be, should be interesting. Uh, the aim of this save is, like I said, Glasgow is well known for two other teams, Rangers and Celtic, the old firm, and they've dominated Scottish football for the past 25 years or so. And really, this this save's called Paint the Town Red and Yellow, and really it's to challenge the dominance of the old firm and battle it out for Glasgow. So, uh, without further ado, let's introduce the squad. We'll go here, and um, here we are, and it's... It's a solid squad, I'd say. I'm quite happy. I think we have a good chance of a top six finish this season, which would be very important. Let's start off with Paul Gallagher. He's a goalkeeping coach and backup goalie. He's got some really nice stats. He's got eight caps for Scotland. He's getting on about his 34, but he is a goalkeeper, so he could probably play for another four years at least. He's been around. Uh, he started at Dundee United, went to Norwich, and has been bouncing around the Scottish Premiership for a good while as well. This is Scott Fox. He was a really good goalkeeper, uh, but then he got called up to the Scotland squad about a year ago. And of course, the curse of the Scotland call up is that his form for Thistle kind of dropped off and he's not been near the squad again since. He has now left Thistle actually and said that he wanted to play in front of bigger crowds and get noticed by Gordon Strachan. So he's up in Dingwall playing for Ross County now. This is Jordan McMillan, versatile defender, but he had his contract terminated by Thistle last February uh, for failing a drugs test. Uh, apparently, he has a bit of a cocaine ha habit, so uh, we will probably move him on in this series quite soon. Ryan Finney is just a youth player. I think he came from Rangers. Ben Richards Everton, there's not much to him. He is a backup player and we'll probably leave at the end of the season. Uh, we signed him from the English non-league. Dan Seaborn, a solid defender, 14 tackling, 14 marking, 15 heading, really nice mentals. Uh, 27, we signed him from Coventry, but he had spells at Southampton and he started his career at Exeter. Conrad Balatoni is another really good defender. Um, I'm, g I'm quite sad that he left Thistle. Last I heard, uh, he was actually uh, a, a trialist for Bradford City, so... Um, he's been at the club for quite a few years. We signed him from Hearts on loan initially and then we signed him permanently. Frederick Franz, Belgian player, 25. Another strong defender. Some nice mentals and really good physicals as well. And we signed him from Liège in the top flight of the Belgian league. Stephen O'Donnell, probably one of the best right-backs in the Premiership. 
He's only 22. He's got some really nice stats. He, he also uh, was a Celtic youth player we signed him from. And um, I have to say, this season, or last season now, uh, he did score a brilliant goal up at Tannadice against Dundee United. Um, it was nominated for one of the goals of the season. It was very Barcelona-esque. <laughs> it's the closest Thistle have ever came to playing like Barcelona, I'm sure. Um, Callum Booth is the left back. He's on loan from Hibs, but we signed him permanently this summer. So he looks decent and he apparently had a really good season with Rafe Rovers there. Dale Keenan is a decent left back uh, youth prospect. Um, not played for Thistle on loan at East Fife. But uh, he has since moved from Thistle and he's gone to Stranra. So he dropped down uh, two divisions to Scottish League 1. Abdul Osman, he was recently given the Thistle captaincy and was probably signing of of the year last year, really. He, he was brilliant. A solid ball-winning midfielder. Really good determination, 16. Work rate, 16. That's just really good. Uh, signed him from Crewe. Liverpool fans might remember him for when he played for Northampton and he scored the penalty that knocked Liverpool out. I think it was the Capital One Cup, rather. Uh, Stuart Bannigan, he is going to be probably our main midfielder. He's got decent uh, technicals, really good mentals and decent physicals as well. He, he's, he started his career at Thistle and was an under-21s player as well. Sean Welsh... I'm quite disappointed at how Football Manager has rated his technical attributes. I really think he's one of the better players in the Thistle team. When he plays, Thistle just look a different side, really. Brilliant mentals, right enough. But he's been very unlucky with injuries. Only 10 starts last season. And he's just been so unlucky. I think he also has a, a condition where... It takes him a bit longer to recover from injuries as well, so he's, he's just a really unlucky player. And Declan McDade, he looks like a nice youth prospect. He's a, he's a really good quick winger, and he played... We got him as from Morton. I've seen him play against Celtic. He does look very good. This is Gary Fraser. He's a solid midfielder. What, long shots, 14. I mean, he's, he can really hit a ball. And it was last season here. You have to go see it. I'll, I might link it in the description below. His goal against Hearts, which kind of sealed Thistle's Premiership status last season, was brilliant. The ball comes out to him. He's about 35 yards out. And he just smashes it. And it goes right into the top corner. And it was just a brilliant goal. James Cragen, he's a really good backup utility player. And um, I'm quite sad that he's left Thistle. He's dropped down to Rafe Rovers because he wanted more, more regular first-team football. Uh, but I thought he would have been given a contract for life. He scored the goal that kind of sealed the championship for Thistle that year against Morton. Ryan Stevenson, a really good shadow striker. Uh, he can play up front as well. He was top goal scorer for Hearts that season, I'm sure. That was the season they went down. That's why it's so low. But he's... He is a really good player. Stephen Lawless, a really quick left winger. Uh, got some decent dribbling on him and technique. Uh, we signed him from Motherwell. I assume the only reason why they let him go, though, was because of his height. He is a very short short guy. I stood next to him. He is pretty, pretty short. <laughs> next up is Christy Elliott. And he... Is a very good physically player. Maybe can do better mentally and technically. But he can run for 90 minutes. And then and then he could probably run for a marathon. Uh, we signed him from Whitley Bay. I'm sure. And uh, he originally was a striker. He's a very direct player. He scored on his debut as well. Came off the bench. And um, he is a very good player. I think Alan Archibald wants to utilise him. As a right midfielder or a right wing back though. Callum Higginbottom is the most technically gifted player in the team. He he is one of the top players in the Scottish Premiership, I would say. 
scored eight goals in his first season for Thistle and he got the most assists in the Scottish Premiership for any team as well. Uh, his second season he struggled a bit. He picked up a few injuries and, um, and I think one was at Kilmarnock where he complained about the plastic pitch that they have and sort of said something along the lines of um, that no top flight team should have a plastic pitch. Uh, but guess what? He he didn't sign a new contract with Thistle, and yeah, he ended up signing with Kamarok. Lyle Taylor is a brilliant striker. Really, I mean, he's just brilliant. He's also an international now. He plays for Montserrat. Well, it's not here, but he has played for Montserrat now. Um, he's been around. Started at Millwall, didn't know that. Uh, but it was at Falkirk, I think Thistle tried to sign him that season, uh, but Sheffield United grabbed him for 200 grand. Uh, they then loaned him out to us, where they, we tried to sign him at the end of the season again. Uh, he then went to Scunthorpe, he didn't do much there, so he came back on loan. And this season, uh, we tried to sign him, we missed out on him, and I can't remember where he's gone. He's gone to another team down south, though. Chris Doolan, he's practically a, a living legend at Thistle. Brilliant finishing and technique. He's good in the air. And, um, yeah, we signed him from Auchinleck Talbot in the Scottish Junior Leagues. And he's <laughs> been scoring goals, lots of goals every season. Um, he, I believe he was a youth coach at Kilmarnock as well uh, when he was at Lo Auchinleck. And he still lives in Kilmarnock. And I heard that they were sniffing around him uh, earlier in the summer, so I was quite worried actually. But um, he has signed a new contract and is still a Thistle player, I'm very pleased to say. So that is the team. Uh, youth teams here. It's something to pick out. Jack Henry, he's played for Thistle a few times, I think. Came on as a sub. David Wilson is also a decent youth prospect in real life. Uh, and this, he might not be too bad. Yeah, he's got decent decent. Uh, potential attribute. Kevin Nisbet scores goals for fun apparently in the the development team in the under 20s. So that's really it and um, I really hope you enjoy this series. I hope that we can take on Celtic and challenge them in future, definitely not this season and I hope you stick around for the rest of the episodes. I plan on uploading them almost more or less every night this week and uh, if you like the idea for the series please uh, hit the like button if you have any ideas suggestions or questions uh, please comment below and um, I know I would like you to hit the like button but really I, I think I would just settle for 50 views personally um, this is my first video I hope to get quite a few out this week and so I hope you enjoy right cheers bye